Good evening. Welcome back to the channel. We've got the old um, trying Hornby R55 in the CP rail livery. There, it's got the nice smooth wheels on the power bogey, so it's uh, reasonably silent in operation. We've got three of the uh, red and silver coaches in the trying railways livery. And these are the, they don't have any interiors in these, um, apart from in the uh, Vista Dome, in that one. These are the first series of um, transcontinental passenger cars. Um, and uh, yeah, they're nice models, those, I like those, and they're very free running. So let's get him on the move. All aboard, as they say in America. And uh, off we go. Eerily quiet, isn't it? There he goes. Around the front here, we've got another um, American loco. This is a lifelike GP38, and this model was made in the 70s. And it's um, it's got a a small small motor it's a pancake motor quite a small one but uh, it's quite powerful and it draws almost no current at all despite the fact that most of that body is filled with metal weights so that's uh, it's a plastic chassis with some metal weights so the front bogey has got plastic wheels with um, uh, traction tires and the rear bogey picks up the current on the four metal wheels there and it works quite well surprisingly so got a not sure who made this wagon hasn't got a name on the bottom uh, neither is this one uh, but it's got some um, opening doors so it's quite nice that's a livestock wagon and the um, caboose at the back, I've not seen one like that before. And that was in my local antique shop again. So, um, SCLLN uh, West Point route, was it? Um, and family lines system so never heard of that uh, railway but um, thought that was quite interesting so let's get this one on the road as well so as you can imagine it makes quite a nice noise so here we go get ready lights on the front there speed him up a bit here comes the trying Hornby one based on a some sort of version of an F unit both these diesel types were made by EMD Electromotive Division of General Motors come round there again uh, 
And one more time. Here they come. Bright colours. So Lifelike actually ceased to be in the 80s. I think they were taken over by authors and they still continue to use um, the Lifelike models um, as their kind of um, value range. Um, only they do put uh, a modern mechanism now with the central motor and eight wheel drive and pick up spoils all the fun though doesn't it and um, yeah over here sitting we've got one of the first uh, British locomotives that actually had a central motor and eight wheel drive and pick up and that's the Backman class 25 uh, it may have been the very first one I don't know uh, yeah, that's that's a nice one to drive. Very smooth in operation. He's got those Hornby coaches. So I've been mucking about with him. We'll get him on the line, shall we? Compare the uh, compare the noise factor. So we we'll park the uh, GP38 up there in the station. There we are. Just pop round the other side and uh, do the points here. It's that one. Uh, this model of the uh, Backman Class 25 I actually got off of Hatton's quite cheap. I think it may have been about 40 quid in about 2009, something like that. Um, and it was. Uh, um, sort of separated from a, a train set box, they just sold the items separately out of a, a train set, uh, but it was new, so it was uh, quite a nice model to get, so let's, let's get him on the go, and he's got lights as well on the front there. And all I've ever done to this locomotive, apart from adding the buffer beam detail and have it all come off, um, is I've just oiled the um, the gears in it. And uh, let's speed that one up a bit. Let's get this one going a bit more as well. Um, so yeah, fairly reliable mechanisms this. I mean I've had it all that time and I've had no bother with it at all. And this is uh, it's going along at 50% on the controller so it's a realistic sort of speed as well. They do make a nice clatter, those old trying coaches, don't they? And I think this was the first British model with a, a see-through roof fan grill. There you go. Okay, so that's, uh, that's about it, I think. Hope you enjoyed that little video. Um, we'll get the, uh, we'll have another quick look at the, uh, 
stop in there quickly. Have another quick look at the um, move him along. GP38, I think. So let's oops, reach across there. <sighs> Run around here. And off he goes. Terrific noise. Let's see if we can keep level with that one. And we'll catch him coming round the corner. Up here. One more time, I think, that here. Great stuff. So, good evening, and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye now.